Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, some of the small caps that, that finished in play on Friday. So first up, let's look at OGEN. Uh, yeah, closed up 33%, still has RSI here at 65. You can see previous runs, it has run well above 70, fasto at 89. So yeah, you want to see it stay above 89. You can see here, check out how the green line is pulling away from the red and the black line. The bulls are really heating up here. There was a nice close on Friday uh, above the green and the red lines. That's the 50 and 200 day simple moving averages. It needs to stay above 121 on Monday. That's the 200 day simple moving average, the red line. If it can hold that level, um, it, the, the next big level to break is 150. Okay, that's the, the close over here. There's a lot of congestion in that zone. If you can get above 150, look for a run up to the 300-day simple moving average at 184. That is the next target if support holds. Now to the downside, if it failed to hold uh, 121 and it dropped below the 50-day simple moving average at 109, there is an unfilled gap between high of day on, on Thursday and low of day on Friday. And so you could see a drop down to uh, um, down to the, uh, uh, you know, back down to around a dollar to, to fill that gap. So it's going to be real important that it stays above 121 next week. Notice there, there was a nice volume spike on Friday as well. Um, there was a PSR bull flip. The green dots now are below the candles. Okay, that, that stop and reverse signals the possible start of a new uptrend. You've got a big volume spike, and then you have MACD bullish crossovers on both time frames. So everything is signaling more upside potential. It just has to stay above that 121 level. Okay, let's take a look at ADIL. I want to show you first accumulation distribution and shaken money flow. You can see here a giant spike down. Okay, look at that spike down in accumulation distribution. Major dumping. Uh, check out how MACD is, is very perpendicular there. That's an unsustainable move. Um, so what happened here is ADIL had a, just an incredible move on Thursday. You can see the giant move on Thursday. Then that was followed with a huge move on Friday. Uh, you could see here it closed up 37% on the day. Fat RSI now is at 75, so it's at overbought levels. If it dropped below 70, that would be a red flag. Um, Fasto lowered because of the long upper wick on the candle. You can see this uh, long upper wick on Friday's candle. That does signal that they were uh, there was dilution, that they were dumping some shares into the run. And so the big level to break is going to be over here, the high closed horizontal resistance level from uh, August the 6th. That was the highest all-time high close. That's right above 420, about 421 or so. If it can close above that level, it could head higher and retest that five zone. It also has to get above 440. Okay, that was the previous high before the high that was made on Friday. And so it's all about 420. 440 and $5. Now, if it stalls out and it fails to break 420, um, what, what you're looking at, um, also you could see here it's hitting uh, resistance uh, right here from uh, you know previous high closes. And so what, what, what could happen here, let's say it stalls out in the zone and it fails to break above four. Uh, keep an eye on the low of day on Friday, which was uh, two or 354. If the share price was to break below the low here, that's this green line, you could see the gap. The gap is unfilled, but you could see the candle work back into the bands or the gap is filled the little long upper wick here on Thursday that, that that filled the gap so there's no unfinished business business below which is good but the red flag is that the real candle body is floating well above the upper Bollinger band which is way down here at 288 and you have EMA 4 way down here at 271 they're both lined up with the closing price on Thursday at 280 so the downside risk is if it drops below 350 354 it could work back into the bands and you could see a drop down to 271 Okay, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, if you look at ADIL here on the 15 minute chart, the big level to break is this high close resistance zone right around 475 or so. Trading above 475 should signal upside potential. Then you have the five high to break. Um, and to the downside, if it fails to get above 405, the middle Bollinger Band, you know, it signaled downside risk into the close here. It, it has to hold the green line. That's the 50 simple moving average at 355. There's that 354 level again. So it's all about holding this 350 zone. A break below 355, that's going to signal downside risk. And you could see it drop down here to 250 and, and test 
test that 100 simple moving average, which was the low close support level from the 29th. Okay, let's look at EDGE, closed up 18% on Friday. Nice move. You want to see RSI get above 50, Fasto get above 50. Um, yeah, you've got, you had the long upper wick on Friday's candle. Okay, what happened was it got above the 50-day simple moving average, basically at 77 here, and it pulled back. It needed to stay above that level. So next week, what you're looking for is a break above 77. If it could turn that level into support, the next level to break is the 100-day simple moving average at 83. You can see back here, on the 26th, it hit the 100-day simple moving average and it stalled out and pulled back. And so it's going to have to break 77 and 83 to head higher. If it stalls out at 77, you know, it could consolidate in the zone. Right now, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band, and that's currently at 666. Ooh, the mark of the beast, all right? So 666, it has to stay above that level. If it failed to hold that level, it would it would pull back. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, it came and it filled the gap between uh, Monday and Tuesday on Friday. And so it's going to be all about staying above the 65 66 level if it were to drop below that could signal continuation of the previous downtrend if it holds it could break out higher um, notice the descending resistance line here is at 75 it's going to be all about breaking 75 77 and 83 next week okay let's look at ntec okay so check this one out it had a nice breakout it is pretty frothy on rsi and it has topped out at this level in the past i'm just showing it to you, the stock to you because it did have a nice breakout above resistance you can see it had a very tight sideways channel for multiple weeks and then on Friday it broke out above the channel so many times that signals more upside potential um, similar to the you know you had a breakout over here on a volume spike after some congestion and then uh, it did follow through and so after trading sideways for multiple weeks look at all the volume in that zone and it held support the breakout above does signal more upside potential it needs to hold EMA 4 at 630 if the candles work into the bands and it bounces off 630 that could be a good re-entry for a breakout higher now when it's stock is breaking out on the uh, daily chart. What we like to do is look at the weekly chart for the next resistance levels. And so you can see here uh, on the weekly chart, it's hitting the seven uh, resistance zone. Um, that is from uh, back here in uh, January of 2018. And so it's going to be all about breaking seven and 750. That was the high last week. If it can break above 750, then it could retrace back up to that nine high close from back in 2017. Um, it, it, if it uh, candles work back into the bands, notice how here it got above the upper Bollinger Band and the candles work back got above the upper Bollinger Band, the candles work back, you have the same setup here. It's above the upper Bollinger Band. So if this pattern repeats, the candles could work back into the into the uh, bands. If that happens, as long as the EMA4 at 623 holds, notice how the, the pink line's been holding during the uptrend. The uptrend's still super strong and it can keep heading higher. Um, just notice that, uh, you know, just keep in mind, you know, that would be the, the reload zone if support held on a pullback. Okay, let's look at AYTU. Okay, yeah, and then look at the 15-minute uh, chart here. Um, you can see here, all right, thanks, Caroline. Uh, very cool. Um, yeah, uh, if you look here um, on the 15-minute chart, you can see here it, it has a nice uh, uptrend going on, on uh, Friday. And what it needs to do is break above 7. If it can break above 7, it could head higher and test that 750 zone. Um, to the downside, it, if it broke below 684, it could consolidate. And it really needs to hold that middle Bollinger Band at 661. Notice how that held on the pullback. Once that middle Bollinger Band breaks, that's where it could consolidate, come down and test that 50. 50 simple moving average at 620. Okay, let's look at AYTU here, closed up 14%. Keep an eye on this one. You know, the chart's heating up. Um, you know, you've got a, a fast RSI here. You want to see that get above 50. Let's see where it's at here. It's at uh, a high level. Notice it's at its highest level in months. Okay, it topped out at this level before. We could see if it could push through here and go to 50. Uh, fast O above 50 is a sign that the chart is heating up. All right, so the bulls are taking over. Check out the green, green line. Uh, plus the eyes trying to break away. So on Friday, there was a bullish development, a close above the dotted purple line. That's the middle Bollinger Band, currently at 97. If that level holds, then a new uptrend could begin. If it drops below 97, it's going to signal more consolidation. You can see it's in this channel here. It has to break above the high close here on the 13th, above the upper Bollinger Band at 116. If it can break above those two levels, it could retrace back up to that 50-day simple moving average at 137 and the bottom of this gap. There's a gap in October between high of day on this candle and low of day on this candle. 
candle and notice how the the top of the gap has been the resistance level it keeps working back to that level and so that's what you're looking for here a run back up to about 140 or so and then if it hit that level and stalled out that would signal a temporary top if it closed above the bottom of the gap it could possibly run up and fill the gap so keep an eye on this one next week it's only going to be bullish if it can stay you know turn a dollar into support and head higher notice it did have the nice volume spike and so it looks like it is heating up so yeah keep an eye on AYTU another one to keep an eye on is AVGR another one that's heating up you have RSI here at 27 keep an eye on it if it breaks above 30 that's going to be our clue that the bulls are starting to take over we already have a clue here with uh, with Fasto at 57 notice how it hadn't been above 50 since back here when it when the last time it was bullish and it cooled down so this is a bullish change in trend notice how it had the big pullback and then once again you have the sideways consolidation pattern and then once again you have the close above the middle Bollinger Band at 31. Notice how we, we try to look for the same types of setups that, that could produce good results if support holds and resistance breaks. And so here, EMA 13 at 32 is the big level to break. Check out the orange line here. Notice how it's been resistance, all right? It's been failing to get above that level. And so once it finally breaks that level, notice it hit that level and failed to break again on Friday. That should be our clue. It's ready to head higher. And then you're looking for a run up to 35, 37 to the, once again, the bottom of the gap. There's a gap between high of day on this candle and low of day on this candle. And this play could get really interesting if it closed above 37. That's, you know, the gap's way up here, the top of the gap at 57. So keep an eye on it. It's really only going to be a good play if it can trade above 32 next week. Okay, let's look at ADMP for the last stock in this video. Closed up 10% on Friday. RSI is in the bull zone. Fasto's above 80, plus DI is breaking out the green line there. And so, you know, th this stock is on a multi-day run already. Look at all the white candles in a row. They just, look how they stair stair-stepped it higher on very light volume. Notice how volume is increasing. But notice how the volume here is much lighter than the run from back here in September. Look at the big volume in September, even on the mini run. So 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 we've got a very light volume walk up here. So, so it, you know, that, that usually signals that, you know, the sellers are weak week right now you know people haven't been uh, selling people are holding um, there was a close on Friday above that 200 or 50 day simple moving average at 292 so see the green line here that had been resistance Notice how, how it, it closed above that level back here in October. It failed to hold, it pulled back. And so a bullish change in trend would be if it could stay above 292. If it drops below, that's going to signal more consolidation. It won't be a good play. It'll be, it, it, you know, it could still turn into a good play, but it's just going to signal it's not ready to make that breakout higher. What would signal it wants to head higher is if it got above this gold line. That's the 100-day simple moving average at 306. Keep an eye on it. If it breaks above 306 and gets above the high close from back here in October, you could possibly see a run up to that 200-day simple moving average at 341 next week stall out and drop below that 50-day simple moving average and you could see the middle Bollinger Band retested down here at 269 as long as that level holds, this this new uptrend should continue. Notice how it had this downtrending channel. It had, a, and, and you know, this was uh, ascending resistance. Well, the close here on Thursday above the red descending resistance line did signal more upside potential. All right, thanks for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, come check out the chat. Thanks.